this would be just jump over it. Just go around the left side and just step over this <laughs> dang ass knee high wall. What is this nonsense? No, can't do it. Impossible. It's impossible. You'll trip, and if you trip, you'll like fall on your face. You have a big beak thing. You'll get your face stuck because it'll dig into the ground. It'll get stuck in the ground. You can't just yeah. walk around. You'll trip, and that would be embarrassing. Hey, Time Asia. I'm Time. He's Cable. Last time we uh, beat the ringleader guy, Odor, very easily. First try. The first try, technically, we didn't turn off the game. <laughs> Not difficult at all. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I saw I was there. I should probably level up. Is this how you, you know, is this your uh, Emerald Herald? I guess. Is that this it? Like... Emerald Herald and Black Maiden, I think, is the two. What is it in Dark Souls 3? I forget. Uh... The firekeeper, I think. Just a firekeeper. Just a firekeeper? Yeah. Black something is dark demon souls. Sekro, you just sit down and think about it real hard. I'm there. I mm, he says, I killed that guy really good. Could I kill him better in the future though? Hmm. Mm. I guess we'll never know. Whoops. Unless there's some <laughs> kind of like effigy you can burn to bring him oh, back yeah. just for funsies. <laughs> I brought you back literally because I just enjoyed killing you the first time, you say. I bought, uh, just now, a, not that, a longer combo for my sword. Wow. Well, I'm glad that it gives you that distance because you were having trouble keeping up yeah. with where Odor was. Okay, so one of three here. Oh, we've got... What the subquest? This is very Neo, actually. Yeah. Destroy I all guess this, this is just like for, uh... Hey, guess what? You're going to have to do this on your own time, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. This is probably just bonus XP and like lore. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to the Royal Garden, kids. Royal Garden. It's looking... We're going to see what that's about. Very purple and red. Well, you've seen Orange Zone. Get ready for Pink Zone. <laughs> yeah. The Royal Garden is located in the center of the Hermes Kingdom and was built by the first king. It houses rare plants from all over the continent and thus has always been popular among the nobles. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, sure. I'll remember the Royal Garden. It's very like pinkish red. Uh, we're just going to go through the gamut. Each level is going to have its own <laughs> color theme. Oh. We're here. We're here. Well, yep. It took me 19 hours of walking, but I've arrived. <laughs> Finally, a chair so I can sit down. That was a <laughs> yeah. lot of walking. <laughs> oh, I haven't had a rest in a while. Ugh. Let's see, what do I want to use for these? Did break enemy super armor? Huh? Which go one? to the left one more, right there. Oh no, go left again. Break enemy super armor. Which? Oh, that one. You were on it. Oh, I see. If I have ten strength, it'll. Oh, there's like extra effects on them. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't notice that the first time. Yeah. When casting, can be magical in this mother heckin' gosh darn biatch? <laughs> it probably just means when using this ability. That one also breaks enemy super armor. I guess it's just each particular ability has its own thing. Yeah. Well, super armor was a big problem when you were fighting Odor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we want to grind out maxing that out just to give you an anti super armor attack, though. Yeah. Uh. Maybe. Oh, this watch out! Or something. You're in danger. He's coming for your wallet. He's coming to get those plague dollars off of you, so you can go to the plague market <laughs> and buy some plague food. Yeah. Hmm. The plague economy is doing real well right now. Lots of lots of blood over here. Ow! You just got shot in the face, kid. Rude. Excuse me, sir. That guy's really good shot. That that guy's a really good shot. You like skinned the branch hitting you in the face with that shot. He's just he keeps doing this, huh? God dang mother hackers got shoulders like space Godzilla. There we go. Oh, he was worth a whole animation, apparently. They don't do damage to you while you're in locked in that, do they? No, I don't think so. They better heck and not. Guy down there did not notice a thing. 
I wish I could jump off of this and do a plunging attack on him. Must have been the wind. That wasn't nothing. You're spoiled by Elden Ring. They couldn't. You couldn't even jump and dang ass bloodborne <laughs> yeah. in your own Dark Souls games. I think you you could jump in Sekiro though, right? Yeah. Wow, he got that block up real fast. Which I guess it is weird you can't jump because this seems to be taking a lot of inspiration from Sekiro in particular. At least combat wise. Well, that takes a little while to activate. And it's... Are you sure we can't settle this with a thumb war, <laughs> Mr. Man? Ow, okay. God yeah. damn it, why doesn't that stagger them? Yeah, that's really kind of annoying. I really wish your claw staggered. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well. I got it. When you're better, you're better. It certainly looks like they're inferior to you when you get those combos off. Oh, hi, hello. Can you not backstab? Do a charge attack when you get back here. No, I don't think I can do a backstab. Do a charge attack. The charge attack is just going to steal his weapon. Oh. What you should have done was sneak up and just wedge him. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, this is embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. You did it in front of the blood falls. I love the blood falls. Oh, man. What's the blood falls going to think of me now? The blood falls going to tell all of us blood fall friends. They're all gonna know that you did this. There's this first thing they're gonna think of whenever they see me. They just come here and just hang out. Now they're not gonna want me here anymore. <laughs> That's his side story, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. You're never gonna see this character again. Well, yeah, he's, there he is. That he's was dead. That was his chapter in the Book of Life. That was his backstory. Is what specifically is bleeding right here? The, the the Earth? It's just the, 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 just the planet. <laughs> just, the planet. just the planet, yeah. <laughs> like the old, nearly forgotten song of childhood. <laughs> well, this is just the place where the Hermes kingdom intersects with the uh, the mystery flesh pit. Carl Sagan's in a spaceship above it right now <laughs> talking about it. He's like, man, it's beautiful. Uh, I've been thinking about this for years. <laughs> the meat planet. Every time I leave, I just want to come back. Like the long, nearly, the distant, nearly forgotten song of childhood, guys. <laughs> the Royal Garden is Hermes' treasure trove of knowledge, whose greenhouse and library are filled with an abundance of documents. The knowledge contained here is the most precious on the entire continent. In order to protect these valuable materials, the garden is patrolled by several platoons of heavy guards, whose captains are elite warriors. Several pl platoons, eh? Entire platoons? Whole ass, but how many can be in a platoon? I'm gonna look that up. Get ready, time easy. I'm gonna fact check what you're doing right now. <laughs> Platoons. What a silly word, platoon. <laughs> platoon. Uh, yeah. 25 to 50 troops. Oh, well, that's. Although specific platoons may range from 10 to 100 people. I didn't say 10 to 100 troops, so maybe there's just some hanger ons, just like fans that follow them around, I guess. I mean, there's other 50. That does happen with, like, armies and stuff, so I'm pretty sure. What, hangers on? Yeah. Not a modern army. Not like a modern army. If you're talking about camp army. followers back in the day, then yeah, yeah, but they're not really part of the army. This person follows us around and just carries a bucket. <laughs> we don't know what's in it. That's his whole job. He just seems to always have something useful, though. His job? Bucket carrier. Vital part of our war machine, the bucket carriers. Yeah. Why the fuck does that not stagger? That not doing stagger is pretty annoying. Or at least like interrupting animations or something. Not even like a full stagger, just stopping their attack would be nice. Just yeah. a flinch would be cool. Yeah, just like canceling attack animation. Maybe they tested that and it was too easy to stun lock people or something. Oh, hi, hello. Just kick him while he's running ah. up the stairs. He'll fall backwards and roll down like an idiot, and everyone will stop and laugh. Oh, baby. Watch out. Ooh. Just catch his sword with your teeth next time he tries to stab you. <laughs> anyway, I want this. <laughs> 
That's not the right button. He's busy. What are you even bothering him for? I want his big scythe. Well, you can steal any enemy's weapon? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Okay, well, that really worked out, I guess. Just, uh... Get that again here and use it the correct way next time. <laughs> Don't completely whiff. Yeah. You can actually show off what it does. This would be... Just jump over it. Just go around the left side and just step over this <laughs> yeah. dang-ass knee-high wall. What is this nonsense? No, can't do it. Impossible. It's impossible. You'll trip, and if you trip, you'll like fall on your face. You have a big beak thing. You'll get your face stuck. It'll get into the stuck ground. in the ground. Yeah. You can't just walk around. You'll trip. <laughs> and that would be embarrassing, your character says, looking directly at the camera. Crossing his arms and pouting. Yeah. Ignoring your inputs until you decide to not make him do it. Ow. Ow. Better be careful, you're gonna fucking die. Yeah. Oh, you switched to that other potion, that's right. Yeah, I did switch to the axe. That's not what I said. Huh? What do you mean? Potion. I said you switched to the other potion. Oh, yeah, I did switch to the slow potion. 40 health back by hitting him with that finisher. Oh, yeah. Not a lot, That's what the number was. I guess it's okay. <laughs> it's better than literally zero, I yeah. suppose. I guess. You may as well invest this 40 health points into the market and see what comes out of it. My <laughs> scythe guy. That one only gave you 20, so each uh, enemy gives you a different amount. I think it said it depends on the uh, like level of the enemy. So, like, so what stronger I just said is me, true. Yeah. So literally what I just said? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said, nerd. I thought that by joining the Knightly Order, I could protect home and country outside the nations of orders. Besides standing guard and conducting patrols, I didn't expect to be delivering goods all day, let alone to that foul place known as the Sea of Fools. Fortunately, after having injected pure blood, I no longer fear the plague. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. Fear the pure blood. Fear. Fear it, Lawrence. Fear it, Lawrence. I gotta go grow some slug things out of my neck now, later. Whoops. Hi, hello, sir. Can I have this? <laughs> Big sword. Ow. Wasn't this a boss earlier? No, I think he's just like a... I think he's basically just like a... Wasn't this the first tutorial boss? <laughs> he's, he's basically just like a bigger version of that guy, I'm pretty sure. Hey, this used to be the tutorial boss. He's just a regular enemy now. Okay. Well, you tripped him up. Didn't do much damage, though. No, not a lot. And I have no heal left, so that's good. Just be good at the game. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> wow, you just kind of fell over, like, instantaneously. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was Family Guy and died. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're so far back! Yeah. Just pick these up. Okay. No, you let three of them get away. You have to eat those. <laughs> that did nothing. That did nothing. That did nothing. That did literally nothing. Why is your health so high? Because he's a big strong boy. Look at him. He's dang ass heming after you real hard. <laughs> yeah. Is it Hema or Hepa? Uh, Hema, I think. He is. He's gonna do his like bowl stance and he's gonna twirl the sword around. <laughs> it's gonna be like zero people did this in actual combat, guys. <laughs> yeah. But this is how you're supposed to do it. Heck. Actual combat, they just kind of flail, flailed at each other <laughs> yeah. until one of them died. Combat's really chaotic and stupid, actually. You just kind of throw your thing at them until one of them dies. Why does he have so much health? I wish they did the fight scenes in Lord of the Rings, like, realistically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where once the fighting starts, all these cool badass characters we know, just they just start flailing their weapons and panicking. Might be better to just kind of parry this guy. That seems to be working out. You could also try pulling out your Glock, that might help. Oh, uh, yeah, I wish. Shooting him in the toes, <laughs> like all ten of them. 
He's like, wow, you're a really good shot. Also, why the toes? Why the toes? He's like barely taking any damage even from my like getting his health bar off. Well, he's a mini boss. Ouch. You're doing pretty well. Just yeah. don't die. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I, God damn I it! I hit him with the feather, but it didn't cancel God his thing. God damn it! <laughs> okay. God damn it! Oh okay. God! God! God, are you listen? Are you there? Are you there, God? <laughs> Please. <laughs> You do something about this garbage? You just kill this guy for us, please? <laughs> you see a hand reach down from the sky and just like squishes him. <laughs> just squishes finger. him, yeah. Then he just gives you a thumbs up and recedes back into the sky. Everybody gets one, you see your you hear a voice resonate in the heavens above. That was it, you burned it. You could have done any character in this entire game and I would have killed him, but you chose this rabble, <laughs> but you could have just killed him <laughs> this, just practice. This random just Slightly tougher enemy. <laughs> Enjoy the ultra boss at the end of the game, nerd. He says, thumb, going from a thumbs up to a middle finger and just pulling back. <laughs> I wasn't even close to you. You totally whiffed that attack, nerd. God. Well, I'll just do it again then. Okay. Yeah. You should just be able to pull his heart out when you do that. <laughs> what does the mask symbol do? What is that? Uh, that's a shield. The weapon, the weapon you get from him is a shield. Was he holding a mask-shaped shield? I thought he was just holding a regular shield. I don't think it was shaped weirdly. Just that looks like your mask that you're wearing. Yeah, it's just. The icon for it is my mask for some reason. If only you could, if only you could wait till he got underneath you and just do a downward thrust, <laughs> yeah, just do I a wish. dropping attack on him, split him in half. But he doesn't know he's been split in half until he's done a couple steps and he turns around to fight you and he just falls in half in the middle of his monologue. Not close enough. I can do this until you die, nerd. I just come back. You may <laughs> yeah. as well just give up. It doesn't matter how bad I am, eventually I'll beat you. <laughs> At least he's like a big guy so he doesn't get like big long combos or anything. Oh. <laughs> Just hit him in the face with it. Ouch, my nose, he said. You didn't break it, but that did hurt a lot. Ow. You've got him this time. You got two whole potions. You s he switched to his other potion, by the way. Yeah, I switched to my other potion. Oh, baby. The uh... oh, potions won't matter if he doesn't have spike damage to you to kill you. Okay. Or he just squish you like this dang wood, <laughs> like he's got Ludwig's greatsword on you. Heck. It's not gonna matter if he spike damages you to death. Yeah. He's got so much health. Okay. Just, just hey, be better at the game. <laughs> Give me the controller, I'll do it. You're dead! God, just die! No, you're dead already. Your health bar is there stupid. We go. Hopefully, he's actually dead forever. Was picking him up necessary <laughs> just to show off? Yeah, I had to show how better than him I was. I guess you stabbed him <laughs> really hard. He did give me like a special drop, so I bet he is dead, like for good. Yeah, he's dead forever. That was the guy that you fought, the first tutorial guy. Yeah. Who didn't have like a full health bar the way that Odor did, so he yeah. was just that guy. There was a couple. He was a Black Knight. There's been a couple guys like that now. Oh, that's not a good thing. Down from there. Catch the arrow and throw it back at him. Get him <laughs> yeah. in the forehead and he just falls over dead. Execution's very slammy. 
That makes sense. Ow. Ow, my ass. Ow. I need that for various things. <laughs> can you not? <laughs> you can have the left one. I need the right one. Okay. Wow, once you get close, I really don't have an answer to this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't believe Whoops. they didn't give him like a melee <laughs> attack or anything. Like a dagger or something? Yeah. Did he come out and just kind of poke at you with? Uh, usually, enemies like that in these kind of games will have like a, oh, you get too close to them, they'll put their bow away and use some other weapon. Oh, yeah, no. the archers in Dark Souls will just pull out a sword and shield. <laughs> oh, it's this guy. Oh, that's how yeah. you open this gate. Okay. Thank f God dang heck. Yeah, do I want to run? just run back and hit the chair? Or do I want to keep going? That's up to you, kid. Mm. If you go back, time, pause the timer. Yeah, I think I am going to go back. Just a Careful, he's pickaxing the floor. Yep, he's got some spikies on him. Hello. Here I am. I'm doing gardener things right now. Hi. Oh, he's got a... He's got a little hat on, is what you're about to say. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, watch out. He's got the dang-ass Space Godzilla crystals on his shoulders. He's a bit beefier than the rest. Yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a bigger boy. Bit of a bigger boy. Bit of a bigger boy. B -b 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 -b. <laughs> it doesn't help that I keep hitting uh, this button instead of this button. Whatever button you're talking about, I don't know. I may have made this game, but I don't remember what the control <laughs> scheme is. Is this a dead end? Yeah, it's just a dead end, it looks like. Did you just open a gate? I, Isn't this where you're supposed to go? I did just open a gate to this area. <laughs> uh, I think I haven't been down here. Er, Isn't that where you came up after you killed the guy? That is where I came up. It's just... A whole little area is just a... Where do you go? So this just goes back to the Because this is the area. shortcut. It's going to be something there you're there missing. There were a couple man. other paths that I could have chosen and didn't, so... I guess this is just for the shortcut. Because I've got... I can go down there and I can go over there, too. We'll pick one, nerd. Yeah. Wow, uh, really aggressive, this one. He's mad because you killed his union lead well, up there with his ding-ass Space Godzilla shoulders. Now he also is dead. Okay, well, he's not mad anymore, I guess. Is that another... No, it's just the sword, uh, shield guy. Okay. No, they're just big strong. Okay. It's just the big strong version <laughs> of these regular enemies. I thought it was another great sword guy there for a second. They weren't, they're not going to throw a whole ass great sword boy at you after you <laughs> killed the first great sword boy. That's a little too many great swords if I had to say so myself. Ow. Yeah, the great sword's pretty good, I think. I guess you don't have, like, an equipment screen. You can't, like, equip different clothes or weapons, yeah. so I suppose that's their workaround where you can use, like, you can get weapons like you the... take from other enemies. Yeah. What's this? this looks... I forgot to ask you during the last few episodes if there was an equip screen, but I guess there just isn't. No, there's nothing. There's just the... It's literally Skills only, only. The, the... The, like, skill tree talent screen and the plague weapons. Well, I hope you like... Uh, Scimitar dagger combo because yeah. that's all we got. <laughs> Even Mortal Shell had different yeah, weapons. Yeah, had a couple. Not to say that the use of the word even isn't to imply that it was the bottom of the barrel because <laughs> Mortal Shell seemed cool. It's just... <laughs> I don't know. It is a little bit repetitive, but I don't mind the combat in this game. It's kind of a neat idea. Well, there are abilities you can unlock that changes things. Like, you have that whole, like... Throwing yeah. daggers when you dodge mechanic yeah. and stuff you could get if you wanted to put the points into. There's a choice between a block and just being a better at parrying, that kind of thing. Yeah. So there's different stuff you can do, but you just have to put the points into it. You just kind of kind of decide what you want to do, I guess. Figure it out. It's decide time. Somebody's making a lot of noise over here. Hi. Well, 
Is this you gurgling? Who are you? What are you? A ghost. I don't see any legs. It's a goo goo goo. You're going to rip its face mask off and it's going to be old man Jenkins with no legs. And you'd be like, doesn't he, that hurt? And you'd be like, yes, a lot, actually. <laughs> he does seem to be some kind of something. Uh, uh, I see hands. I don't see legs, though. Yeah. He's got quite the health bar on him. Also has quite the health bar on him, yes. Maybe it's in Forever Dead if you kill him. Probably. Then. Another mini boss. That does not look like it should be hitting me. Uh. God Ow. damn it! Why does that not stagger? Yeah. What? Oh, he's got a book. He's gonna hit you. Under his torso, I see. He's gonna thwack you real hard with it. <laughs> He's gonna be like, do you know the dictionary definition for the word pain? Get ready, because you're about to find out. Okay, that... Like, claw attack. The range on it is... Weird. You could solve this if you just use your gun, is all I'm saying. He threw some crap at me. Get riggedy wreck, nerd. This is not nearly as bad as that other guy was. No, it's not. Ow. I did not do Watch that. Watch out, he's gonna spindle you. There we go. Get obliterated, idiot! <laughs> Man, that would have looked better if the fence wasn't in the, <laughs> the way. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was definitely a, uh... He's a forever, forever dead. dead. Oh my god. Look at these skill shards you just picked up. Bloodblade. I need one more of those before I can actually get it, though. Delicious. We might also be underleveled because those side quests are now a thing. So you might just be playing a harder version yeah, of these areas yeah. than it's intended. We we appear. Well, I be... guess they're all. I assume that all these levels they play it like, because you know how in Dark Souls yeah. they beat every game where, when they play test it, they only use the souls you get from killing bosses mm -hmm. to make sure that it's possible no matter what. Yeah. So we might just be playing the regular version, and the side quest just makes it easier <laughs> in case we're total losers. So the side. Well, they probably do expect you to use the side quests, though. Well, they expect the average person to go through the side quests just for content. Yeah. But when it comes to completion, they make sure that only killing bosses gives you the souls you need to beat yeah, the game. The game can be completed just no matter yeah. what. So long as you go from boss to boss, no matter what, you'll beat the game. <laughs> of course, you're assuming this studio uh, would do that, would think to do that. I guess. Are you, are you implying that they didn't? I mean, I'm not, but it's possible. I can't believe you're implying <laughs> that the country of Taiwan would not do this, <laughs> like as a country effort, making this game. <laughs> I believe in our Taiwanese friends that they would make this game balanced, dependent on how much <laughs> experience you get per boss. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, to, I'm just saying yeah, that I accept probably, it. I'm sure they did. Question. That is an interesting tidbit about Dark Souls, though, in case you, yeah. anybody listening didn't know. They make sure that they balance the game so that only the amount of souls you get per boss is enough to get you through the game. Collaborating with Emerald has been an incredible experience. It doesn't feel like we were researching together. Rather, it's more like she is teaching us. Initially, we were just following her instructions, creating equipment that we had never seen before. It's not just alchemy that has caused Hermes to become so powerful. I thought Herm. Okay, so Hermes is a city. I feel like you're gonna fight a boss named Hermes at the end of the game. You're just gonna fight Hermes, the the queen, Queen Hermes. Yes, the god Hermes. Hello. Of course, I say that as like the balancing thing for the souls, but like, there are so many soul level one runs. It's yeah. like you could beat the game literally putting no points into anything, and it's like no it's possible. Just be good. Soul level one. No I saw somebody do that with the entire franchise. No yeah. hit run. <laughs> he did the entire thing. It took him like eight hours, I think. I didn't watch the whole thing. That's I just it? saw the video and know that he did it. Only eight hours? I could be wrong. It could be like they snipped out the parts where he wasn't fighting anything. Yeah. I just saw a video on YouTube where it was like the entire Souls series. No hit run. <laughs> Soul level one. <laughs> If I get hit once, I have to start the whole thing over. Apparently he did it. We're never going to do that on this channel. We are very definitely never going to do that. One, because we both suck at Souls games, and two, because that doesn't sound fun. 
Who puts themselves through that? God. <laughs> I guess for the clout, I mean, you got views, I suppose. I guess, like, you played the game enough times that you get bored of the regular stuff. I've played Dark Souls 1 to completion like nine times. I couldn't do a no-hit run. I mean, the people that do that are the people that, like, play these games for eight hours a day or whatever. Like, that's their job, they just stream it all day. I don't get how people can stream the same game, because I know that uh, speedrunning is a big thing, yeah. right? There are people that will just stream the same game over and over and over again, trying to get better and better times. But it's like, how can that you seems... have to... That seems so boring, is all. Yeah, it does seem very tedious. I guess they're just passionate about it. Ouch. I can respect the times, I guess, but just the idea of, like, spending the entire day streaming the same game over and over again seems just so tiring to yeah. me. Yeah. But I guess that's why they have world records and I don't. Yeah, so. I suppose. <laughs> Careful, we're gonna fall into this. Are the gems bleeding? Uh, it might be. Are those blood gems? Can I use that to upgrade to a plus ten weapon in Bloodborne? It might just be a blood rock, <laughs> especially blood bloody looking sap from the tree. It's it's probably just blood. Yeah, it's probably just <laughs> blood. Oh hey, chair. As usually, uh, uh, finally you sit down. Yeah. God, just old man, huff onto that and just take a break. Nah, I can't. I can't explode these with my face. Heck. <laughs> Boo. I thought this was Legend of Zelda for a second where you just roll into pots and just break them with your face. <laughs> you know that they're here at the time because they can just roll through pots and it's like nothing to them. That's the... That's how they find out which one's real. Every time someone shows up saying, I'm the hero of time, it's like, can you roll through this bunch of pots, though? <laughs> Prove it. Somebody doesn't watch, they're like, ow, my back. It's like, you're not the hero of time. Get the fuck out. Imposter. Imposter. <laughs> you don't have the mass to do this. <laughs> your ma your value that they gave to your mass <laughs> isn't enough to push away all these pottery, these little pots and break them. That's how you know the hero of time. His mass value in the game is high enough to break <laughs> pots just rolling into them. He really likes to break pots, though. I like to break <laughs> pots, too. Okay, so it just makes me take damage and to do a little bit of extra damage. Okay. Oh, baby. Decrease health consumption by whatever percent that said. 50. Oh, yeah, the upgraded one. Use damage taken. Which one are you trying to max out? Pick one mm -hmm. to like work towards. I feel like super armor is a big problem for oh. you. Oh, we can upgrade them. Uh, isn't that the whole point of putting the points in? Isn't that the five out of ten no, implication? No, I can use more skill shards to, to like make the actual thing better. I see that instead of giving us equipment, they just went full on into the skill tree for this <laughs> yeah. game. So you better, we're learning things now, and we're like several hours in now. <laughs> two or three hours into the game. Yeah, did not explain this at all. Did they? I don't think they explained this part of it. Well, then it's their fault, not our <laughs> fault. Just go blame Taiwan, guys. <laughs> all right. Oh my god, you did a good job, what? I think. I don't know what you did, but I'm assuming you know I did what you're it. doing. I upgraded stuff. It's gonna be great. Oh, baby. Next time, we'll maybe finish this level. That'd be nice. Maybe. We've been in here for almost an hour now. Yeah. <laughs> for us, not you. Hopefully, it's trimmed down to about 30 uh, minutes. Ho hopefully, it won't have to run back several times again. <laughs> yeah, we died like four or five times to that mini boss guy. Yeah, it's fine. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Next time. Next time, kids.